Hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe, all right? Let's do another freaking Transformer review, because I love some freaking Transformers. And today we'll be taking a look at the last of the Wave 2 I got so far is uh, Legacy United. This is the Infernac uh, Universe Shard. Yeah, so this is kind of the, the Rock Lords kind of thing lore they got going on, which I'm really excited for. I got the other two, so had to get this one. Uh, looks great. <laughs> Once again, artwork. Got the guy in there. Looks pretty cool. Once again, kind of Wasp and kind of vibe looking with this head sculpt and everything for me. On the back, 13 steps. Uh, he is a uh, armorizer. Arm or armorizer. Golly, that's an armorizer. Armorizer, golly. So you can use them, you know, for armor. They've been doing this since Siege and everything. So it looks pretty cool. There's gears. Don't have them out yet. Wish I had, but one of these days. All right, there you go. And there you go. All right, let's take a quick look what he comes with. He is the Lux scale too. I forgot to mention that if you don't know it by now. All right, good stuff. All right, as always, first things first is instructions. And like always, I say, Hasbro does a really good job of instructions. Easy to follow. Nice big pictures. Awesome. All right, so he comes with these assortments of, uh, you got these like uh, thrusters. Uh, you can also use his weapons as well. Uh, very nicely done. I love when they blend in like the light green to the darker green. That looks freaking beautiful. I like it. It's got that kind of a crystallized rock kind of, you know, formation. Looks pretty good. So get two of those. You get these. Um, these are actually going to go on a shin. So I guess shin guards. But, you know, other, uh, he is, a, you know, you can, you know, arm up other, you know, Autobots and stuff or Decepticons, whichever. They're neither, they're neither one. So whoever you want them to be on, that's fine. But once again, the dark green, the light green, the lighter looks really good. I like that. And like I said, these were like shin guards for him. And you get four blades uh, since he is a helicopter and you can also use these as weapons. Uh, these are just, you know, green plastic look good, but you can also put them in here and everything. And you can make some other configurations and I'll show you that later on, but that's one of them you can do and everything. So that's pretty cool. All right. So that's what he comes with. Whee! Boop, 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 boop. There you go. Here is Shard in his alt mode. Let's do this. Whee! He slides and everything. And man, this thing looks freaking outstanding. I love this whole Rock Lord kind of thing. I know they're not Rock Lords, but, you know, kind of, you know, lore of them. And I like this. Kind of like a crystallized rock and everything. Going, You know, I love it. Love how the, you know, just love this metallic green right here, this dark green. Um, love, love the blend of it and everything. This light green, then into the green, then the dark green. Looks really good. Wow. This thing looks freaking awesome. I might have to get another one, man. I know they're kind of, you know, like they're um, not fossilizers, but armorizers. And you can arm up everything. So I like that. I uh, definitely may try to get another one of these. Love the translucent green. If you follow my channel, you know how much I love translucent toys. And I love that cockpit. It's translucent, nice light green. Looks good. The front looks really nice. The propellers work just fine. Looks good. You got the tail. You got a little waffle. Not terrible. You do got a little three millimeter port right there. You can put a little stand right there. Uh, you can put blast effects in these right here. So that's cool. Love the playability always. Here's the back. Kind of loose it is it right here. Uh, you can see the hands, you know, but I, I think it blends in real well. I, I like it. I really do. This is a nice, nice alt mode. And uh, I'm liking, I'm hoping we get some more of these because I like the three that they get us so far. So there you go. That is Shard in his alt mode. And I think it looks freaking spectacular. I like it. All right. Good stuff. And there they are together. Magnus and I forgot this guy's name. Chariots of Fire, I guess. I don't know. But, um. Yeah, I think that looks freaking awesome together, man. I love some Rock Lords, and this just really, really brings me back to it. And I, I think they go great together. Really good job, Azrael. I really hope we get some more of these. So there you go. As always, Wheelie, Magic Square Prowl. You got uh, New Age Prime. You got Red Alert, and then Dustbuster Jazz. Scale.
All right, here is Shard in his bot mode and easy transformation. And I think he looks, once again, freaking awesome. Outstanding. I love it. Love the head sculpt. Love the light piping, man. That beautiful green eyes really, really pops. Like I say, he's got kind of a waspinator feel to me and everything. It just looks really good with the head and the colors and everything. It looks good. Love, like I said, the translucent plastic right here. You got some paint. You got some nice uh, gunmetal silver. I think these are painted too as well. His forearms is, yeah, they're painted too. Very nice. Got the nice different textures of green and everything. Love it. Uh, like I said, you got his shin things, guards, they um, just tap in right here. So that's good. And got the feet. All right. So as far as articulation, um, well, the head sculpt, once again, love it. Light green paint right there. And on this face plate, all that mainly is painted. I think all that green is painted. I think it is, man. It looks good. All right. And like I said, it does got light popping back there. Uh, only articulation for the head is side to side. No up or down, anything like that. For some reason, this wave, the head you know, head movement has not been that really good at all. So, but it is a beautiful head sculpt. You got these little shoulder things right there. Now they don't move. So uh, once again, beautiful. Love this metallic green right here. It looks good. So you can go up to there all the way around. You do have about 90 degrees for the elbow bend. You got some nice shards right here. Looks good. I like that. Uh, bicep swivel, a little, uh, you know, waffles. You got a swivel of the hand. Now you do have a, uh, just cause of transformation, you can untap this. You can get a little backwards bend for some dynamic poses. And that's pretty cool. All right. So you do have a waist swivel. You go about to right there and it starts running into this area right there. But I think that's enough for a robot. That's good. Now you do have an ab crunch, which is cool. Now it's part of the transformation, but you have to untab it right there. You can use it. That's cool. I like that. I wish all of these got app crunches. That'd be pretty cool. So there you go. That is very nice. So you can band dam all day, every day. You can kick up. You can kick back to about right there. Then you start getting away. You can move it out a little bit and get a little further. That's good. Uh, you don't have a thigh swivel, but you do have a knee swivel because they do come apart because it is a weaponizer, kind of armonizer, whatever they're calling. Um, and you do get that swivel there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you do have about a 90 degree. This is one main thing I don't get is this tail gets in the way and it doesn't come apart. Uh, just like, you know, you can take apart the legs, you can take apart the arms and stuff, but this just does not come apart. I don't understand why they didn't do that. They could have, you know, took that off, use it as a weapon, as a battling ram or something like that, or, you know, as a melee weapon, they could have done that. So you do get 90 degrees for the knee bend, which is pretty good. Toe tilt down, very nice. And you got a toe tilt up as well and a nice rocker. So very nicely done. Paint right there. looks good. All right. Turn around. Like I said, you do got this little ugly thing, but you, it does move. It's, a, you know, it's got on a hinge right there. So you can move it like that or you can move it down like that. All right. You got the back. Once again, translucent green looks good. You do got the rotors right there and I'll show you the weapons in a little bit and show you what we can do with that. Uh, you do got some waffles back here. Quite a bit of waffles in the back of the legs. So you know, not going to get away from that ever. Uh, this is metallic green painted as well. So very nice. All right, so that is articulation for Shard. All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple things you can do with the weapons and you know, you can make stuff and everything. Like I said, he is kind of like a weaponizer, or what they call him, a uh, armorizer. Okay, so, you know, same thing. Um, so first thing first, you can make this kind of like crossbow thing, which looks really freaking awesome. You just tab in these two things underneath and on top of the hand, tab them in right there. And there's a port in here. And you can tab them in like this and you get this little crossbow thing. You can put it on either hand. Looks really cool. I like that. So that's one of the things you can do. All right, another thing is you can just untab them and, you know, put them in the hand. And there's also a port right here where you can put them right there. There's these right here. You can put, you know, something right there. Um, let me show you what else you can do. So you can, what you can do is you can take these off and you can untab this. And you can just leave these right here if you want to, you know, just tab them in. And have them in your thighs right there if you want however you want to do that and there's a place back here you can put in the um you know the blades so there's a couple configurations you know in the instructions they have you do this and then take that off take that off and then you can take put that in right there and then plug this in right there and kind of have them folded down and you can have it like that and then you can put these you know you can put these on right here or you can put them in right there like this and you can have some blast effects in there and just leave it like that um that came untubbed, uh, untabbed 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 
and you got that right there. So that, and I saw this cool con configuration online and you have it like this, you just have it like this. I think that's pretty cool. Now you can move this down and it can spin. Um, and you can also just, you know, kind of straighten them out like this and have it just like the helicopter and you can move that down so it won't spin around. You can have it like that as well. And like I said, you can take these and you can, you know, tap them in right there. Well, come on now. Well, tap them on this side maybe. There we go. Yeah, that fits better. Yeah, because there's a little, little nub right here kind of gets in the way. So, and you can do that. And there's another one right there. And now I'm going to take them apart. You can use it, you know, like I said, he's a you know, weaponizer or armorizer. You can use him as, a, you know, weapons for other stuff. All right, last, last configuration I'm going to show you. Um, like I said, you can take apart his legs and use it as kind of a, you know, like a crossbow. Um, unfortunately, it has gears on the box. Unfortunately, I don't have gears out right now. But I don't. Um, so you can, you know, just use your imagination. Like I said, I'm using Prime. You can use any of the Siege, any of the, you know, lines from the Warp Cybertron, Legacy, United, all that stuff. You can use these like as, um, you know, leg protectors or you can, you know, put them on, you know, feet. You can do whatever you want to. Just have fun with it. Use your imagination. Uh, use that and everything. Uh, use his, his arms and hands. And you, uh, I got these Gatlin guns on there. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Unfortunately, you cannot use anything else. Uh, the rest of it is, you know, like I said, I wish you could have been able to take the tail off and maybe use it as a weapon or something like that. Um, but that is about it that you can do with, use with him. So, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, the playability is there. Just have fun with it. Use your imagination. So there you go. All right. There he is with the other two. And I think they look freaking awesome. Now, he really stands out in the colors, but they all stand. I mean, you know, you got the dark gray and everything. You got the red. And now you got the light green and all that good stuff. And like I said, I hope they make some more of these. These look freaking awesome. And, you know, you can, the playability is there, man. You can use them as weaponizers and stuff and everything. With all of them, you can use them. You can, you can transform him into, and he can hold them. And that's just cool and everything. So, yeah, that looks really good. I like that. And there's Thundertron. You got Prime from Siege and um, Ironhide and Sideswipe. You got Braun over there. You got Core Class Wheelie and then Tits McGee Ratgar. Scale. And Crappagonics, Crappy Tool Paper, AAA Battery, Carmex, Care Bears, Kicker and Squeaks. More scale. Well, hey there, everybody. If you made it this far, as always, I appreciate that. All right, final thoughts on Legacy United Shard. Man, really good. I like this thing. I'm definitely going to pick up another one, man. Um, the alt mode looks really good. I love the helicopter mode. I love the just the way it looks. I mean, with the, you know, the kind of crystallized rocks, you know, forming, it looks good. It really does. I really like the helicopter mode. It looks really sleek and really fast. I like that. Um, I've seen people in the comments say that it could be maybe a blackout or something. Um, that'd be pretty cool or something like that. I don't know what else it could be, but it looks cool like this. And, uh, transformation, real easy. Shouldn't take that long to figure it out. Bot mode looks spectacular. I love it. I love the light piping. Man, it just looks good. Love the head scope. I love the uh, translucent green right here on the chest. Looks so good. I really do. Paint wise, spectacular. My gosh, I love how it fades in. Love that. I love when they uh, you know paint, uh, they paint it and they fade into the plastic. Looks real good. You got the metallic green. You got this light green, uh, kind of this bluish uh, teal too as well. Looks good. Paint wise, it looks so. Yeah, very nice. Um, articulation is pretty good across the board. You get an app crunch. You know, I know it's for transformation, but you still can use it. But uh, overall, really nice uh, articulation, just except for the head. Uh, for some reason, Series 2 that I've done, um, the, head's go, you know, the head articulation is really lacking. So that's about the only thing I can really say that's negative about the articulation. The rest of it is really good. Um, I like the, you know, I like the gimmick. You know, I like the weaponizer, the armonizer, what they're calling it, armonizer, if I said that right. Um, I like the playability is there. You know, you can use it for other Transformers. I like that. I love the weapons. Looks really cool with the swords and everything. Uh, I didn't mention during the uh, during the uh, review, but you can't really hold it like straight up. You have to have it hold it like, you know, like this and everything. Sorry, if you can see that. But uh, so you really can't hold it like this. That'd be pretty cool to hold it like as a sword. So, you know, but that's not a big deal. That doesn't really bother me. But I love all the configurations you can use. You know, you can make a crossbow. Uh, you can, you know, do configurations on the back to have the, you know, the um, uh, blades back there and everything. That's really cool. You can use blast effects for, uh, the, you know, the guns or something like that. You got five millimeter ports. You can do that as well. Now, the negative is just this tail. 
Um, I just wish it would detach, you know, maybe. Um, so you can use it as a weapon too as well, or maybe, you know, it just, you know, you can take it off, you know, it wouldn't be back there, but it doesn't really get in the way that much. Uh, you know, maybe the leg back and everything, if you, you know, been it back, but other than that, it's not terrible, but I just kind of wish they could have used that for something else as well. Uh, cause you can use the shin guards and all that stuff and everything else. Um, but yeah, so that's about the only really negative thing I got to say about this. I love this line. Um, like I said, it's kind of a, I know it's not rock Lords, you know, for say, but I, I mean, it's for say I'm worried. I, just, I think I just made something up or something like that. But um, I, I like what they're doing uh, with this line, and I hope they do some more of these. I think they're awesome. Uh, I definitely would definitely pick up another one of these, and I hope they do. Uh, I hope they do like a like a Voyager scale one or maybe a later class one. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, so that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, uh, yeah, I like it. I definitely recommend this one. Wave two has been pretty good. Start off great with Starscream. You know, I did um, uh, Silver Bow was you know pretty decent and everything. My jersey is just rising up on the back of my back, LA. and um, then Sandstorm, you know, so, and then this one, you know, really great. I love this one, and Starscream are my favorite from the uh, four that I just reviewed. Man, they're really good. I like this. I really do. So, um, hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments. Tell me you thought of the review. Is anybody getting these things? Do you like this kind of thing? You know, kind of a rock lord kind of thing going on. No, they're not rock lords. I know everybody's going to say something, but I think they are. You can, it's use your imagination. You can do whatever, you can call it rock lord if you want to. It's your transformer. Like, doesn't matter what anybody else says. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll uh, end it off with some, what's up everybody? I wonder how these talk. Like I, I wonder what the, you know, I wonder if they're going to be Decepticons or Autobots. Um, I mean, you can use them on either side, whichever you want to. Um, to me, I think they, uh, they kind of look like Decepticons, to be honest, the way they, they, you know, the way their mold is and the build and everything. Like I said, this one kind of reminds me of Waspinator. A lot. He just got the head sculpt and the colors of him. So I wonder what's uh, going to be the backstory. I hope they do a backstory of these guys. It'd be pretty cool. More than likely, no, but they won't because it's half bro. But it'd be really nice to get anything like that. Uh, I, wonder, I just wonder how they would sound when they talk like a mouthful of rocks or something. I don't know. All right, just cut the baby. And uh, floor time, you got to love it. And uh, be good to yourself. Yeah, hell has bro. Yay. Good night, folks.